the rousing welcome for Nigeria's uh, para athletes. By the way, Nigerian para powerlifter for Lasha Day, Uluwa Femi Ayo, stunned the world at the 2024 Paris Paralympic Games, breaking her own world record to win gold. Her remarkable lift of 167 kilograms not only broke her previous world record in the women's up to 86 kilogram power powerlifting category, but also made her the first para athlete in history to achieve such a feat. The 39 year old, who had previously won a silver medal at the London 2012 Paralympic Games, has now become a two time Paralympic champion. Folashade's flawless performance solidified her status as a legend in the sport and also further cementing Nigeria's dominance in par Paralympic powerlifting. Nigeria finished the tournament with two gold, three silver, and two bronze medals. Of course, uh, we know, of course, the athletes have arrived, and uh, we have uh, in uh, Miss this afternoon, uh, talking about uh, the gold medalist uh, in para powerlifting. Fola Shade Olua Femi Ayo joins us this afternoon. Good afternoon to you, gold medalist and champion. Welcome to In the Game. Good afternoon, sir. All right. I, I must say, congratulations on winning gold at the 2024 Paralympics. How does it feel to not only win, but also break your own world record uh, on such a grand stage? Uh, well, I'll say a very big thank you to you, and I will say I'm very, very grateful for winning the gold medal and breaking the record. I'm very grateful to God for the strength and the grace he has been given unto me to perform. May his name be praised forever. So I'm very great and delighted in my game. So I praise God for that. All right, fantastic one. Uh, your journey to this moment must have been incredibly demanding. Now, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced? during your preparations for the games? Uh, well, I'll say before the camp was called, it's not an easy job. For you to wake up uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning, prepare for training uh, before the national camp was called. So uh, it's a big challenge going out from, your, from my house to the national stadium for training. It's not easy at all. But I see, thank God, uh, he saw me through all uh, and he gave me the grace and i will say a big thank you to the national uh, nigerian uh, youth and sports the ministry of youth and sports for the early camp that they gave us it made me to uh, prepare for the game so i say a big thank you to them god will continue to bless them thank you all right uh, uh, interesting one uh, you talked about the challenges you face now you have consistently shown dominance in para powerlifting from London 2012 to Tokyo and now, of course, to Paris. What key strategies or changes did you implement uh, in your preparations uh, towards, of course, uh, getting, uh, you know, to break your own record this time? Uh, well, you know, as a, I, if you go out there as a champion for your championship, or you went for the, let me say, from London to Tokyo, and then more you you put on records there you have to train hard so i double my training even if it is raining i go out there and train and anytime i said i'm not going my husband will still say you know you have a goal to set so you have to prepare yourself and go and go for training so i double my training i never relent in training so that is the effort behind the weeding so training is it all right. Uh, interesting to know that, of course, uh, you know, rigorous training has helped you get to this stage. Now, what role has the support of your team, family, Nigeria sport institutions played in your journey to Paralympic success? Um, well, I would say a, a big thank you to Nigeria, my federation, my family members, and my friends. I want to thank them for their prayers because they have been supporting me most of the Praying, they will start uh, praying for me and my family members. They are so very, very supportive, especially my husband, my mother, my siblings. They have been praying, encouraging me that you can make it, you can go there and do it. And I thank the uh, Nigerian uh, the Federation, that's Parapalifting Federation, for their support and their encouragement. The most thankful one will be the Ministry of Youth and Sports. They have been there for us. During the training, they took us to Germany. We spent 10 days in Germany before moving to Paris. So I would say a big thank you to the sport ministry 
and the uh, the honourable uh, minister of sports. I will say a big thank you to him. He has been supporting us. He has been encouraging us. He always called us and talked to us. So I will say a very big thank you to him. God bless him too. And God bless Nigeria. All right. Uh, looking back at your career, what would you what would you think has been the most defining moment that has shaped you to become a top para powerlifter today? Ah. Hmm. Well, I, if I say I should just start with the story of my life, if it will take a long time. <laughs> though uh, my ambition was to become a nurse, but uh, because of the disability, uh, I was unable to meet up with the target. So that was why I joined uh, para power lifting. And ever since I joined para power lifting, it has been a very blessing to me. I'll be uh, para power lifting has been my source of income all this while. So uh, and it took me to where I am today. Going out there to win a gold medal as the first woman, the first, the first woman in Africa. I don't know how I will express my feelings and I don't know how I will express myself. I'm very, very grateful. I'm just grateful to God because it's God that is doing it, not me, it's God. All right, you, you talked about how you were able to uh, you know, move on from nursing uh, to uh, para powerlifting. What message or advice will you give to young para athletes in Nigeria and around the world who look up to you and aspire to achieve success in their respective sports? Uh, what I would say to them is, uh, when you have a desire for something, be focused. And the most important thing, when you have passion for that thing, just go for it. If you go for what you have passion for, you will, be, you will see that God will see you through, and you will be successful in everything you are doing. So I'm, I'm just, it's just an advice to those that are out there that have uh, one or two things on mind to do, that have passion for one or two things, they should go for it. Though uh, powerlifting wasn't my ambition, but when I got into the game, I fell, I fell in love with it, and I have passion for it. I will thank uh, my coach, which is Coach John Ogutoye, he was the one that brought me up in para power lifting when I was living in Joe City, Plateau State. Uh, he approached me that uh, this game would be good for me, and I listened to his advice. So this is where his advice has led me to. So I would say a big thank you to him. When I went, uh, when I moved down to Lagos, I met Coach Are, Coach Pat, Coach Kemi, so many of them. I would say a big thank you to them because they have made an impact in my life in para powerlifting. All right, before I let you go, I have two, I have two questions in one. Uh, first of all, the money that was promised uh, by the Ministry of Sport uh, for a gold medal uh, um, athlete, have you received the money? Uh, that's the first question. And the second question is, the next Paralympics is in 2028, in four years' time. Will you still represent Nigeria in four years' time? Is this, are uh, we going to see for Day in 2028 Paralympic Games? Uh, well, your first question, I would say a big thank you to the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Uh, they keep to their promise. God bless them. And uh, I will still go for the game in 2028 by the grace of God because I'll keep on training. I'm still going back to my training ground. So I have to buckle up because I've set a record there. Which other countries too will be going for it? So I have to go back to training so that in the next four years, uh, by the grace of God, we'll be there together. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, this question just popped up in my head. I mean, uh, when you look at the last Paralympic Games in Tokyo, Nigeria won uh, more medals than these Paralympics in Paris. I, well, what would you say is the reason for the decline? If you look at the trends uh, since 1992, this is the first time we're having um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the amount of medals we got uh, at the Olympics on, on your screens. You can see that we have a total of seven medals at the Paralympic Games in Paris compared to other editions where we even had more medals. What would you say was the reason this time around, especially with uh, Bosse Molay or other athletes who a lot of persons thought they would have won gold, but yes, they win a finish with a medal, but not as uh, what we what we saw in Tokyo. Uh, what else I would say pertaining that at least we have trained, we trained. But if you watch Bottom Malayo's game, it's not her fault. She's good. 
But our first attempt was okay. A second, if you watch the second attempt, immediately, even the, the referee that was sitting in the middle, she testified to it that she, he had one uh, boss and one eye and sound. That's why she couldn't go for that for uh, the second and the third attempt. She had an injury on that bench oh, on the day of her wow. competition. So for an athlete to have an injury, there's no there's no way that athlete will continue with that game. So it was because of the injury she had on the bench that was the reason to continue. So she she was the the goat there because we train together and I know what she can do. So we believe uh, there's a reason for everything. God knows all the best. God knows the best for her. So uh, going for silver is not a fault. It's the injury. Because he trained for that good medal. All right, I must say a big... And the reason okay. why uh, most... Okay. Go on, go on, please. Go on, please. Most of the athletes there, most of the athletes there, if you see almost like three of our athletes or four were having injury, in due to the... Uh, should I say, uh, we don't know. We don't know what caused it, but uh, it's during the competition that you find out that there's injury. But on the training ground, on the training ground, everybody was perfect. It was perfect, and we are aiming for almost like five goals for the power lifting. But uh, to God be the glory. It is best known to God what happened. So we give Him the glory for the ones He has given us to us. All right, uh, a big uh, thank you to you uh, for Lashadi Oluwafemi Ayo for your quality time. Nigerians are proud. We have been singing your name, especially with what you've done. I mean, raising the flag. I mean, uh, the Paris Olympics, we didn't have our national anthem played in Paris Olympics, but the Paris Olympics gave us our national anthem in France. Congratulations to you once again, and uh, we look forward to you breaking more records, the World Championships, the Commonwealth Games, and, of course, the next, Paris, uh, next Olympics in Los Angeles. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.